Hey everybody, welcome to Ellis Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching as always. Y'all like these uh, riding in the truck videos to go get things and so we're gonna do one here today. Um, gotta make a couple of drop-offs. I've got a John Deere LT, LT166 and a Craftsman Tiller that I've got to drop off for a couple of folks that I go to church with. And after that, uh, I've got uh, somebody else I used to go to church with. He contacted me earlier this week and said that he has a John Deere riding mower, or a relative does, that uh, needs gone and asked me if I wanted it. So we have a little bit of a drive to get to that one. However, I don't know what type of John Deere it is. We're going to find out together. So um, I hope you all enjoy this video. We're just going to get in through town here and make these couple of drop-offs and then I'll uh, uh, get one of these haircuts done and uh, we'll end up having uh, well, we'll figure out what this car is doing here in the middle of town but get a haircut done you'll see me with shorter hair in just a second and uh, we'll see what type of John Deere we end up uh, picking up here uh here in a few hours if you'll enjoy the video i'll give you a look when i get at home all right guys i'm gonna give you all a first look because i have a little bit of time here um john deere missing the hood it is liquid cooled which is kind of cool y'all know i've got that lx279 and this is an LX188. So I guess it's a 42 inch. It's 17 horsepower. It's got a battery in it. Uh, the tires are airing up. So we're doing all right when it comes to that. Obviously it's dead. It's been sitting back here a little while. I've got one tire aired up already. So let me get it on the trailer. And uh, we'll... Uh, Kind of debrief whenever I uh, get in the truck and I'll give you all a final look once I get home with it but first look looks to be pretty darn good if I do say so he did say that it ran so i would be curious to see everything it's just dirty everything looks to be good otherwise though which is really cool figured I'd let y'all watch me load it up while I'm at it one quick tip if you're going to go pick up a mower bring an air compressor and uh, some extension cords, air hose, and a fill-up, and bring a battery. You never know what you can do with those two things. In this instance, this building that I'm in back here in the back that this was at had power to it. Woo! Sun glare. Woo! -hoo. So I had power to it. I was able to hook it up, hook up the air, inflate all the tires and put this thing to where I can roll it onto the trailer. So that's what we're gonna do now. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because the hydrostatic's a little bit, it's not locked up, but they're a little bit harder to push, but we should be able to get it pretty easily here. There you go, guys. She's on. She's gonna go home. We'll debrief, I'll tell you the backstory behind this in the truck once they get everything settled. But again, two quick tips, you never know. Wow, that sun glare. When you might have a power and the need for air. And man, if I didn't bring that compressor with me, that would have been a thousand times harder and I probably would have been dead. <laughs> so, uh, I gotta strap it down, we'll get it in the truck. 
I'll get me a little bit of water. I'm not that parched. It's just it takes a little bit of effort to get a mower on a trailer. I was curious to see if the battery was going to work. Thought about throwing a battery in it, but all right, we'll catch you in the truck here in just a second. All right, while I'm here, one other word of advice. We're going to check on the check the mower, but these items were loose, so we just make sure that they're not you're going to take and make sure that any loose items you just throw in the truck, throw in the bed or something along those lines so that they don't fall off while you're going down the road. And the other thing is um, strapping it. A lot of times I just do one strap on my trailer right here around. I've hauled hundreds of mowers this way and I've never had an issue with it. So as long as you strap it around something that's secure right there around the front bezel, you're usually good to go. That sun is killer right now. But yeah, so we just go around, make sure that there's nothing loose that's gonna fall off, like that screen right there. We'll take that off. Radiator's in good shape. We'll see what the oil fill, or the air and oil look like um, when we get it home. And deck looks pretty good. It's just missing that little guard right there on the side. That's not really a big deal. Um, and then obviously we're missing the hood, which is killer, but we'll see if I can find one I think I might be able to source one for about 150 bucks I might splurge on it because I might be able to get about 700 for this if I get it in decent shape um, So again, that's the process again bring an air compressor bring a battery You never know what you're gonna do with it and my trailer is a little one of these little Lowe's 5 by 8s with 12 inch wheels on them and it has a really nice low low load floor if you put a piece of plywood up here it might be a little bit easier because mine's hauled a bunch of stuff and so my mesh is starting to get a little weak which is where i was struggling a little bit earlier but again if i had like a 6 by 12 or something like that that had a steeper angle i'd have had a much harder time so do everything you can i do a lot with a little i've hauled three i've hauled three mowers at one time before two on the trailer and one in the truck and i've never had haven't had an issue with it so um, that's kind of the what's going on wow guys sorry about that glare but that's what's going on with that again let me get in the truck and we'll uh, debrief here I just figured I just want to show you all kind of the process of me picking it up since I don't really show that very much just because a lot of times um, I'm just talking to people and whatnot no I'm not stealing this mower I was given permission to be on the property and get it and all that because this guy's moving out of his house this week so all right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed seeing the process there. I gotta get some water before I get out of here. Whew. Super nice day in March here. <clears throat> Let's see. Sometimes my park brake has a little issue. Ah, it's just wet ground. Um, again, not bad at all, guys. Um, like I said, I did drive about I don't know, this is about 45 minutes from the house for me um, with traffic. I was already out and about with the truck, and so really it's not that bad when it comes to um, having to come out here. Just make one big trip out of it. I know gas prices are high, but remember, I get about 15 miles a gallon with the truck, probably an additional 40-ish miles, so I probably got in gas maybe 10 mile or ten dollars in it right now um but yeah that's not bad i would say uh i had to get out of here there we go so i only got like 10 bucks in gas in it which is uh good i think the mower itself is probably going to be like a if I don't put a hood on it, it's probably going to be like a $500 mower. If I do put a hood on it, you're probably looking more like 7 or 8 So I'll, see, I'll price out a hood and see what's going on with it. Um, and we'll see what we end up. We'll see what we end up with here, guys. I think we're, like I said, I think we're going to be in really good shape. Um, what will be super is if I just started this thing up at home with a battery and uh, let it roll and I uh, just had to do a nice service and cleaning to it and if it really turns out nice I will add a hood I think that that would be a nice addition if uh, we were able to do that um, it is a super nice mower it looks like I don't know if it's a 38 or a 42 yet I'm pretty sure it's a 42 um, seats even in good shape I'm really happy with that too 
and uh, like I said, just thankful that they let me come get it. Like I said, the guy, the guy is moving at the end of the week and uh, needed it gone, and uh, they called me up, so it worked out really well, and uh, I think that we're going to come out with it good. We'll get one more look at it when I get off the trailer at home, and we'll just kind of uh, see what else we might find off of uh, first look. I might even try and throw a battery in it and start it for y'all. Um, I think we're going to be really, uh, honestly, I think it's going to start up when I put a battery in it or charge the old one. I'm not sure. I, it may have been running until the end of last season and then they just let it sit. But we'll see. Let me get home because I'm we're working in 5 o'clock traffic in the middle of Durham right now. So I probably need to concentrate more on driving. But like I said, I hope you all have enjoyed the whole process here. I don't really get to show that a lot, mostly because I'm... Uh, talking with the folks that I'm getting it from, but these guys weren't home at the time. One of one of the guys, a police officer, and uh, like I said, the uh, the father is a uh, member of the church I used to go to. So that's how I got connected with that. It's all about connections, guys, and it's all about trying to make things easy. I've learned this over the seven years or so that I've done this um, of how to make things as easy as possible, and just networking, guys. You don't have to beg for anything. People actually come out and. Um, ask if you want to take stuff off of their hands and you actually learn that that's more helpful to them than trying to get something like pick something for free off of marketplace so let me get home and i'll show y'all a final look at the mower all right guys it may be a little dark because you can't see me but you know it's all about the journey and y'all like enjoying seeing the journey so to speak of me doing stuff um on the way home I was supposed to pick this mower up on Tuesday and do my other deliveries. I even got off of work early on Tuesday. And I got home and uh, this truck had had a little bit of a misfire, but it got really bad to the point where I couldn't even hardly drive it. And uh, so I ended up just being a spark plug. This is a Ford with a 5.4. It's a 98 F250. And uh, ended up just being the spark plug um, after I tried the coil swap trick because it was the number three which was near the firewall and so I tried to do the easy stuff first instead of just popping down and trying the uh, spark plug since I had to do a little bit of uh, origami with the extensions to get there but a little cool thing on the way home here I don't know if y'all can read that very well we have 235,000 miles on the truck it just turned 235 so that's cool um, I don't know how well I can see that, but I figured I'd share that on the way home. I will probably give y'all a look at this mower tomorrow, and we'll give a final evaluation. I might throw a battery in it. I just wanted to uh, share that with y'all on the way home. All right, guys, we are on the next day. I tried to charge that battery last night, and it is just not taking a charge. It will not go past 5 volts, unfortunately. One thing I do have in it is a new battery. So we're gonna tr try this thing out. I have checked the air filter. The air filter is acceptable. The um, oil looks like it is overfilled and has a bunch of gas in it. So I don't know if it's a fuel pump issue or a needle and seat issue or a running rich issue. I'm not sure. I'm gonna check the deck spindles before I do start it. And I'm gonna check the belt Oh, that's right. This is a... Ooh. This is an electric PTO. I forgot about that. So, uh, one thing I saw... That kind of was... Glad I looked. That's why you look before you try things. You see that wire hanging down? That's the PTO clutch wire. And I just about... I would have sawed that thing off. The belt, primary and secondary belts look pretty good. It looks like they're just cracked a little bit, but nothing crazy. And the blades, I haven't even checked down here. They don't have a lot of lift to them, but none of the John Deere blades seem to have a lot of lift to them. 
Let me check the other side and make sure that it's going to turn for us. And just looking at it in the daylight more, this is a 38-inch deck, not a 42. So, 38. I checked the... Um, it's an interesting spec mower to have a liquid-cooled Kawasaki, which is the same engine that is on that LX279 back there, and that's a 48-inch deck with the twin, um, twin pedal transmission, I guess is what they call it. Uh... So that's interesting spec. This thing's got a pretty big engine on it for what model it is. Um, figured that was just interesting to know. So we know that that's going to turn. I am going to take a zip tie and just tie that PTO clutch wire up out of the way so that it does not rub because it was already starting to try and to rub. And then we'll get it started. So just stay, hang tight for just a second. All right, y'all, I got a couple of zip ties on that thing. I'm gonna double check it one more time and then we're gonna see if this thing will start up for us. Yeah, we're good now. All right, brake. Ignition, hey, we got the fuel solenoid. Gas smells questionable and has a lot of sediment in it, so I have a feeling I'm going to be uh, purging out that tank. One thing I can do, you never know. gas through the fuel filter though so I just don't know if the choke's working yeah I think this thing's gonna be in for a carb clean at least So we know that it's just uh, air filter, or not air filter, but it's got a gummed up carb. So I'll leave this video at that. We'll do this wrap up here in just a second. All right, so before I end the video, I just, I did give it a nice pressure wash.
to get a lot of the dirt off. It's not completely off, but we are in decent shape when it comes to cleanliness. It kind of sucks that the hood for these is about, th what I could see is about $300 and some change. So this thing will not be getting a hood because I don't think I'll get my return on my investment, unfortunately. I do have three of the tires do go flat within a day. This fourth one here seems to be, seems like it'll hold. I think if I get lucky enough, I might be able to um, transmission fluid save these just to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at the seat even turned out very nice for what we got. So that was really nice. There's no rips or tears in the seat which is very good. Really hardly any stains in the seat from it sitting so long. And I just need to kind of figure out carb clean and whatnot, but we'll end this video here and um, we'll do a quick debrief. All right guys, so there it is behind me, this LX188 um, 96 model that I got for free. I believe that we will be able to get it and save it fairly easily I hope. That'll be in another video though. Hope y'all enjoyed the process of uh, I don't really show the full process of going to get things a lot of times just because of the situations that arise whenever I'm there. Um, usually I'm talking to the people that I'm getting the mower from and in this case the folks weren't home and uh, so I just kind of want to show you all the process since I was just a little old me out there getting the mower. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Remember, air compressor and extension cords and an air hose are going to be some of your best friends when it comes to trying to get mowers out there. You can also take a battery. You might get lucky and it might crank up and drive on the trailer too. Uh, especially if you have to, to uh, take it a long ways. Luckily, my uh, I did not have to... Uh, go very far with uh, this one and uh, was really relatively easy load and got it home and cleaned it and it's really not too bad I think we just have a gummed up carburetor and um, just have to put some uh, see if we can save the tires if not I do have a few tubes around here that I'll uh, see if I can put some tubes in it for but thank you all again for watching thank you for all the support I hope you all enjoyed the video of me going to get this thing I usually do according to the view count and um, I mean, this is the, only the beginning of the year, so beginning of the season. So uh, once uh, middle of March here hits, it's game on then. <laughs> I'll be doing my best to crank these things out as fast as possible. And remember, you're, I can, you can see me here twice a week as long as I can keep the videos going Wednesday and Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time uh, for your viewing pleasure, as we have the past couple of years now. So... Thank you again. You can reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com, if you have any uh, more questions. Or you can reach out to me on Facebook and Instagram at ellismowers09. I do ask that you try and be as specific as possible because vague questions are hard for me to answer uh, given the nature of different geographies and different uh, selling uh, prices and things like that in different areas. So thank you all again, and I'll catch you all in the next video.